Okay, now it's recording. Hold on awesome. One Let me um, where where? Hold on, I just need my glasses. One last piece to the mixture here. Yeah. I'll get it down here. Boom. So I just had a I just had a thing down here, right? And I'm yeah. like, I'm like trying to get all my my juices going. <laughs> Where's my glasses? Okay, hold on. All right, thank you. So this whole table is filled with books. Yeah. And I'm just, you know, I'm all about, I'm all about studying, just like you, you know, putting the, putting it to work, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah. I mean, I guess, I guess you kill me with the implementation because it just, you just take so much action. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And the, and the universe rewards action. So that, so I, I appreciate it because in exact proportion of what you put in, you will get out. So it's only up to me as a creator in the universe to get what I put in. So there's no complaining from my end at all. Yes. So uh, anyway, uh, we're recording now. Yeah. So, so this is Stacy Cross. Um, the name, it's, it shouldn't be, she shouldn't be called Stacy. It should be more like Move Cross because uh, she doesn't stop moving. Yeah. I, I saw her in an interview no, with no, Grant no. Cardone, um, you know, sitting there talking with him. Uh, not like I'm doing, but I literally sat there with him, with, which I'm very jealous of. And <laughs> he, she runs a business or a company called Comfort Killers. I still don't have any idea what she does. I just saw her energy, her passion, and boom! Like I, I just, uh, I, I just immediately like, oh shit! I, I don't, I, I don't care if she, she sells candy. I need to talk to her. <laughs> Yeah, I love that, man. I love that. Um, so you took action and you didn't even know. Oh, I mean, you, you promoted me to, you, you, you uh, infected me with it. You motivated yeah. me. Well, you know, um, so I am Stacey A. Cross and there is no E in my name. And I'm all about action. I paid with action, paid with energy, paid with efforts, paid with attitude, paid with discipline. Oh, man. And I'm so grateful to be here with you today, Robbie. I love it. Holy shit. Where, where can I get that? You know, what, what, what you're injecting? Oh, man. Listen, they, they kind of sell it at the local CVS Mart for about two million a bottle. But, <laughs> but, here's, but here's the deal. We all have it within us. And once I learned that, okay, you know how, you know, you could pay with currency. And I try to tell everyone currency is not the only form. Money is not the only form of currency. So I said, you know what? I'm going to pay with energy. What do I have a limitless abundance and infinity of? And I paid with energy. So instead of complaining about being tired, like even when you called me today, right? For this interview, I yeah. said, man, I don't got, hey, I'm jumping in and out. You said, no, today is the day. I said, okay, today's the day then. Oh, awesome, David. awesome, awesome, awesome. I, I, I just had, did a, a video. I talked to a friend of mine called me and he was in a bad mood because of a, a fight with his girl. Is sort of, you know, the ex-girlfriend that you, you didn't break up with yet? The one that's uh, always lingering there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the lingerer, the corpse that you carry. <laughs> so so, yeah. uh, so I, I instantly, he said, oh, I'm in a bad mood. Blah, blah. So I, I cut him and, and started rationally explaining because I'm a, I'm a coach type kind of explaining why the mechanism happened. And Tina was like, oh my God, I'm calling to, to break up with her. So that's kind of my way of dealing with, with you know, low level consciousness. Uh -huh. And I thought like, that's the way. And then I, I met you. Yeah. And apparently, I mean, if he, this guy calls you right now, you'd be yeah. like, it doesn't matter, you know? <laughs> Get more. <laughs> I'll be like, I'll be like, hang up the phone. I mean, I think I, what I've learned is the only way to sense what's happening is how I feel. So if if I'm speaking to someone with low energy, low consciousness, and it's making me feel bad, and I'm angry, I'm upset. That's what I want to trim off. That's what I want to cut. So what I'll tell your friend is cut, hang up the phone, hang up the phone and do something that makes you feel good. When you talk about motivation and self-motivation, the only way to feel good is to apply production. So whether your production is at the gym, whether your production is writing a couple articles, reading a few books, you have to do something. You have to keep moving in movement for motivation. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Hang up the goddamn phone.
<laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, that's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so good. I mean, I've, I've been having some trouble lately. I, I do five videos every single day. Uh, mm. I write about 10 pages every day. Um, uh, you know, work out every day, read at two hours every day, Instagram, like everything every day. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I've, 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 I've just today, I posted a video about it because I, I, I felt down today for the first time yeah. in a while. You yeah. Know, you, sometimes you feel up and down and that's normal, but I felt yeah. like down, like I don't want to do this. I felt ah. down. And, um, and I was wondering why. And you, I think you just answered the question for me because uh, apparently just doing, you know, the video, just writing, it, it isn't enough. You have to actually apply the production to it. It's not just mm -hmm. a, a a check mark yeah you have to actually put the heart in it and actually yeah. that's what's going to give you even more energy oh yeah even more because if you go into a bad cycle you start you know you take a bit of you, you invest a bit less here a bit less there and it's like a, a negative down spiral right and you start you know that uh keeping energy from all pla all sorts of places right uh, and then you don't have any energy, any energy and right. no production, <laughs> right? No production. And I don't want to ever get to that state. So, you know, I'm very careful with my energy and the most of the blood suckers of energy comes from, you know, people or the things we watch or if we're not on purpose and, and the basis of being not on purpose is, is it takes up more of your energy than actually being on purpose. So I love what you said, because you made me think, because I'm all about production and activity and action, right? Uh, I started this company, The Comfort Killers. I know it sounds negative, right? When people hear, oh, The Comfort Killers, what is it? I actually thought it was negative too. I typed it in Google and serial killers came up. But I'm like, no, I'm a I'm kill comfort. I'm going to turn this damn thing into a whole personal development and self-improvement space. I want to make it the biggest, the largest, the number one self-improvement place for product and services in the world. So that's a huge mission. My mission in life is to teach millions how to get uncomfortable, to think better, act better, and live better. It's huge, right? So as long as I stay on purpose, I always feel good. We all have those days that you have, Robbie. We're up, down, we're up, sideways. We don't know if we're, co if we're coming or going. But here's the deal. Once we stay on purpose, once we have that big, scary, monster, humongous goal on our shoulder, man, we're always on the right track, baby. And I love it. Oh, yeah. You, you, can, you can always use your goals to forget everything around you and just... Yeah. You know, <laughs> Yeah, that's why I cut a lot of people off. I mean, when, when I started this journey and this journey of mine, and we always talk about, oh, what's the destination? I have no destination, man. I, 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 cl I climb mountains for a living. If someone asks me, what do you do? Like you did today, what the hell do you do? Sell candy? I sell candy and climb mountains for a living because there's no destination when it comes to this. So the goal's got to be big and got to be scary. Like Grant Cardone said in the 10X rule, Man, and, and that's the first, that's the book that I, that I listened to that started this whole entire thing right here is because I wasn't doing enough. I realized, man, I really am not doing enough. So you know what I did? I cut off the cable. I stopped doing the things that made me feel bad. And I just put that activity into that big purpose, this big mission about self-improvement and personal development, baby. Holy shit. Holy shit, Stacey. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Yeah. You, you've probably been told before that you're, you're pretty hypnotizing as a speaker. I mean, I, I've done many interviews. I talk to people every day for hours yes. and I've, I've, I've never talked to somebody who I'm like, you know, swallowing every word like, okay. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. You're beaming, yeah. you're beaming with, uh, with Thank light. You. And, uh, Thank actually I, I even, I even had like a cool epiphany that you talk, you know, we talk about the goals and you said, you know, when you can remember when you have the goal in mind, uh, the big juicy goal, then you don't see any trouble. You just see passion. Yeah. And, and actually I just thought of something that I'm, I'm really surprised. I haven't thought about it for 22 years. When you look up into the sky, yeah, there's no trouble. <laughs> right. Like all you see around you is like the infinity and the stars. And then you like thinking about, you know, your money problems, relation, it, like it, it doesn't even relate in that context. You're like, right. Whoa, there's, there's like, we look front, backwards, left, right, down. But if you look up, right, no problem. <laughs> well, here's the thing, Robbie. 
here's what yeah. here's the thing and i love that because it always puts me into to the perspective of why don't we look within and and the, the answers come you know you just said it we look up right we we pray to you know we see the inf we see the infinity we see the limitless right we look down we look to the left or right there's traffic but we never seem to look within because I believe 100% that your life and universe within reflects and mirrors the life and universe without. So that's what I do, Robbie, is in, even instead of looking up, I look within first because I know whatever I see up, I put it there. It's in me already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. That's so cool. So w where can people get more of that injection of yours? Oh, so I, I built a website. I built and designed a website, man. I, I've been designing websites since I was like, since the internet first came out with AOL.com slash members, HTML. I sucked at it. GeoCities. You weren't even bored yet. But here's yeah. the deal. I built the, I built the website, the comfortkillers.com. If you're lazy, you can just put comfortkillers.com. If you're extra lazy, go to Google and just type comfort killers dot com baby and of course i'm at stacy a cross there is no e in my name on all the socialite sites snapchat linkedin i write a million articles divided by eight <laughs> 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 how, how no. many how many keyboards have you broke with your oh my god man <laughs> I'm on a monster. I'm on a monster um, laptop. It's like I don't even know. The screen is like 22 inches. So when I travel with it, people are like, "Damn, what are you bringing your desktop for?" I don't care. Leave me alone. This is a beat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on Medium, um, Stacey A. Cross, and and of course on Facebook, uh, Stacey A. Cross or Stacey. My gut, my whole thing is there. Stacey Ann Marie Cross. All right. Shh, don't tell nobody. I told you though. All right. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Wow. I mean, um, look, I, I have the same dreams like, you know, changing life, becoming massively famous, uh, yeah. tra you know, traveling, speaking to thousands. I mean, you, you beat me to it. Like I, I, it, it doesn't matter if I do five videos and you do one, one a week. Like I think with just with your enthusiasm, it's such a strong vehicle. Yeah. It should be a leverage for every 10 things I do. One thing that you do with that enthusiasm. No, uh, absolutely. It, it, not only, it impacts us more yeah. deeper yeah well you know what i think everyone ha the, their true self has a vehicle right i think sometimes you know what i've done in my past was try to be someone else try to be something else whatever the ads are telling me to do whatever the teachers are telling me to do my family's telling me to do that's who i was so when i realized i am not authentic and i got authentic very quickly after realizing i am important right i am unique i am a genius a genie in a bottle I got the genes. I am so genuine with it. So once I realized, you know, let me be myself. Let me be that person that's quirky, that stutters sometimes, that, that's antsy, because that's who I am. And when I realized that, man, the vehicle, the voice, and of course, this thing called social media took it by storm. Do you know when I started this company? I, I would guess a year or two ago. Oh, I like, I like that. I like that guess. It was nine months ago, the day that I interviewed Grant Cardone. Oh. And I walked, yeah, man, I walked out of a seminar on Valentine's Day, February 2016, fell in love with myself, went back home, and I didn't, I didn't want to go again. I said, yeah. you know what? I can't, I can't have anyone try to motivate me if I'm unable to motivate myself. If I continue doing the things that got me to this place, I can't go there and complain and try to put that on my to-do list as if I did something right, you know? So I came home and I just pumped out activity, 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 activity. I didn't even know what the mission was. Reading, yo, tons, look, tons of books daily. My goal is to read 52 books, books a year. And the bigger, the better, baby. And I love the way books smell. Oh, me too. Holy shit. Yeah. Like a, <laughs> like a brand new car. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> You know, by the way, your, um, your day of transformation was on my birthday. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Well, well you know what? And then this is a divine connection. <laughs> I mean, that same day, I've also had an, an epiphany. I was like, fuck this. I'm not taking it, you know, fast enough. I yeah. decided to, to do a, a, a huge lecture. Uh, basically, I was like, okay, I, I'm currently making, you know, a lot of money working with small clients. Yeah. And, and I said, okay, let's think, I'm, let's think twice bigger. 
So I said, let's do a 200 people lecture. And then I said, yeah. oh, if I'm thinking twice bigger, let's think two times more. Right. So 400. And I said, no, fuck it. Let's do two times more. 800. And that, and that happened in the shower, in the 40 minute shower. Wow. And I go take a shower whenever I'm depressed because I just think in the shower. Yeah, yeah. And I went out of the shower, immediately called the first company that I found that has an auditorium large enough. It was $20,000. I basically paid for it in cash, sort of. It's like a contract. So it's, yeah, yeah. it's done. Like once you sign it, it's done. Right. And, um, and I had two and a half weeks to get 800 people to come to a lecture where pretty much nobody knew me. Like I had, I had like 50 fans and clients, but that's yeah. it. The, the, wow. the other 750 who, by the way, the 50 are not going to be my clients because they're already in my clients. Right. Uh, so it was crazy. It was the scariest commitment I've done to that date. Yeah. And basically uh, started making like, I think like a hundred phone calls a day. Plus gave like a four hour lecture every day. Uh, nobody was allowed to leave the room before they invited all their friends through Facebook. You know, I love all, it. all of their friends. I love it. Through Facebook. And then I also did a viral video. I was like, yeah, you know, pr- I, I, I knew people would hate me, but I did something provocative. I stood in my beachfront apartment. I was like, I make more money than you, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your aunt, and everybody in your life combined. Yeah. And that's why I want you to come. And that video got to like, combined with the next few ones to almost 200,000 people. I love that. And I got, I missed the mark. I got 550 people yeah. to get there. Yeah. But, I mean, but, that- but, but, but yeah, it's more than I thought I was able to. I mean, and, and stemming from a shower, right? Stemming from just a mindset mm-hmm. click. That's yeah. amazing, bro. That, that's scary. That's scary how uh, in one day, like somebody could know you and then the next day, just because of a whim, yep. or bam, like a full f- throttle to a, another direction. Right. No, that, I mean, I, I freaking respect that. I'm over here like, wait, can I, can I, how, how can I, how can I be a part of it? I mean, at the end of the day though, Rob, that's, that's huge. I respect that. What was the topic of that, excuse me, seminar? <laughs> how I, how, how I managed to do a 500 people seminar. In that, was, that was the main, that was the topic. I, I improvised all my lectures, so I didn't know what it would be about. So apparently that was the topic. I freaking love it, man. That's what we got to yeah. do. There's no, there's no book written about what you could do and how you could do it. There's a lot of digital marketers. There's a lot of MLM companies. There's a lot of step-by-step guides out there. But I think we're scared and afraid to, to implement our own step-by-step guide, like without following yeah. any rules. And, and I love what you did. That's awesome. Totally inspirational. Oh, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's all bullshit. Like you, of course, learning is important, but eventually, just like Grant says, you, you need to commit because once yeah. you commit, that's when the genius part. Ooh, because I would have, I would have never made that video. I would have never uh, forced people to literally force people. You're not allowed to leave the apartment before inviting your friends to this. Um, what I think happens is that we in life, we have a certain, a set of priorities and, and let's say one priority is how we feel, how people will think about us, financial risk. And, and basically it's like, a, a, an, an, uh, hierarchy, the things you peel. Yeah. I don't remember. How yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like the onion or yeah, it's like a hi- yeah. hierarchy. Yeah. So, um, what the, the more you're committed and I don't, I don't, for me, commitment isn't something, you know, that there's basic level commitment, which is when you say, I'll do it. And yeah. then there's also, you know, put your money where your mouth is commitment right. that asks, what would you like, let's say you have a goal. You ask yourself, what would I do if I knew that I would achieve this goal? Right. And, and it's scary because I've done it. I've done this on higher levels. Right. The highest one was, was, was literally moving into a villa with, with a pool next to it that cost about 15,000 a month to rent. And yeah. going from one employee to 10 in literally five days. And, 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 and I lost almost a hundred thousand dollars. But, right. I'm, but I tell people when you, and it was traumatic, but I tell people when you do that kind of commitment, like do or die commitment, 
either if you have that calling i mean if something in you is like yeah come on you know you can yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes you just don't have that you just want to you know move forward steady yeah if you have that uh just be just know that if, if it if it works insane you just jump yeah. like 10 steps forward in one leap you know and um if it fails you basically gained like five or ten with years of wisdom oh yeah yeah in in the but you suffered five or ten years of wisdom so you right. you, you chunked it into like right a couple of months or a couple I, of weeks I, I agree man i agree 100 percent. it's awesome what you're doing robbie i'm, I'm inspired uh, me too <laughs> yeah i'm inspired that's I, great so i i when you said you did that video you know with grant that was the day yeah. you started the company yeah I, I i i didn't even look at the date i thought that interview was like a month or a week ago because you talked no, about no, that company it's, no 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 it's, it's, as if it's uh as if it's it's already established like the no, no, no. Let me, let, no 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 it's uh you know uh, uh, let me clarify so i started the company um february february this month this year 2016 yeah. february and i had the interview when you saw it two days ago three days ago what what day what day is it i never know the day of the week what, what 15th day? or 16th all right so i had that i had that interview done on the the 16th on wednesday mm -hmm. so yeah so you're right i i talk about it like it's established it is <laughs> Awesome. Listen, so, we we're here we're here, man, to trick ourselves into this, right? If yeah. we still if we talk about what we're scared of, we're talk about not doing it or what we can't do. I came home so pumped. I'm ready to freaking I'm ready to freaking see Oprah. I'm ready to put yo Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, I'm coming for him because he said I didn't have right credit to go see him. I'm coming for him. He's next on my list. But yeah. at the end of the day, I already talk as if the things are already achieved. And one of the things that I do is, is put targets on my list every day. Grant Cardone, man, you know I have a show on Grant Cardone TV, right? No. Yeah, so the show on Grant Cardone TV is called The Comfort Killers, man. I have about, I guess like 20 episodes already on that show. So it, we, we, yeah, we, it's crazy, Rob, you don't know. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Hey, so yeah, now, I got now, it. now the fans know as well. My fans. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Grand Cardone TV slash Comfort Killers, um, forward slash Comfort Killers, and of course I, I keep popping out um, uh, products such as content, high high value premium content too. You know how to increase your income, things like that that we need that people what, think. What, hey, what can, can I buy from you? You could buy my famous new Three C's of Change webinar, right? So if you go to my website right now, you'll see a few products on there. One of which is my webinar. Uh, it's Three C's of Change. I battled addiction. I battled um, uh, gambling addiction, right? And, and the book of session tells me exactly what I needed to do. Good thing that I created a webinar with Three C's of Change, which I believe are confront, you know, then you commit, then you create. So I go through it with 10 videos in my three C's of change webinar, and you can get that at the comfort killers.com slash webinar. So, then I have, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I have the comfort killer staple shirt. Then I wrote an ebook in less than 24 hours, the comfort killers handbook that's out. Then I got these bad boys, these journals here, the comfort killers journals. So it's all about it's all about product development, and um, I'm I, I'm not in the tomfoolery, right? So I only talk about things that I know. You you can talk about anything. I mean, with that enthusiasm, it, it doesn't matter. Ah, I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell candy soon, man. <laughs> yo, my, yo, boy, take that candy. <laughs> take this candy right here. You, you, you could you could easily pursue like like a, a career assisting rappers. Yeah, yeah. Swag on. Oh, you know what? You know what's funny is that I used to have, I used to rap. So I have about 200 songs that I done. And, uh, you, you know, in my, in my previous years up to 2008, I have albums, man. So yeah, the, yeah. Know, what happened? The housing boom, the housing collapse and you. Yo, I'm <laughs> like, fuck that. <laughs> No, but you know what? I got, I got real, I got real positive and a lot of my raps were negative. And I was like, man, this is not what something I, I love. I'm a hip hop head to heart. Um, yeah. 
And so I know that that's my calling, but it helped me put words together. Yeah, so I'm great. It, it, it doesn't matter. You're getting famous. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I mean, I love you, Rob. Okay, so so the three seasons, right? These three, three seasons. Three C's. So three C's of change. Seeds. Okay. Yes. Confront, commit, and create. That program right there changed yeah. my life. That's how I. That's how I battled the addiction. But I didn't battle addiction. I confronted it. Yeah, I, I have. I have. I mean, I've I've also been, uh, you know, battling uh, addictions. Um, so many of my clients and also fans. Uh, are people who are addicted to shit, you know, because yeah. they, basically what Grant calls like the obsessed people. The obsessed, yeah. So, so I think this, like, I'll personally recommend uh, to, to the people who follow me. That would uh, be great. If you have a, if you masturbate too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're, too, you're negative all the time yeah. or you hate your life or you have a really bad drug habit. Yep. Um, you can turn that into greatness. And That's it. I mean, I would, I would, I would say, like, I would say, okay, so maybe talk to me, talk to Grant. But look, if you're gonna get half of Stacy's enthusiasm, yeah, uh, I, I mean, would, you know, I would I send got, you to her to take care of it. Yeah, I got ten. I got ten video segments, and I actually have a weekly call set up in the program, so you could go through the program as slow as fast as you want. We know that time is of the essence, baby, but we want you to be speedy with it and speedy to, uh, to speedy to change. But the biggest part of, of changing, and a lot of people are like, how do I change? How do I get rid of this? The, 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 the hugest part, how you change a habit, and I, and, and I had to learn this and put this to use, is you don't, you don't mess with the cue, right? What cues you to do something? You also don't take away the reward. You only change the routine. And that's what the three, C, the three C's of change focuses on is the routine. So the last C in the three C's of change is to create, baby. And I'll tell you all about that. Like I said, thecomfortkillers.com forward slash webinar. Awesome, awesome. So this video is probably going to get about 200 views from dedicated yeah. followers who are all are in requirement of that information. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome, I'm really, man. Really I want, I'm, only here, I'm only here to teach millions how to get uncomfortable. I'm only here to help people, man. That's it. Yeah, my, my, my knowledge of like what I teach is very specific. It's only for people. Uh, I, I, I don't currently deal with uh, everyone. I deal with people who are, you know, kind of already pretty advanced in the yeah. success game, meaning, you know, they're already in to win at the... Like uh, the, the one that extra extra boast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but but somebody like you, uh, I mean, you're you're like a finished product. Like I think you you just need to be put in front of like a <laughs> five thousand people. You know, it just yeah. it, it doesn't ma matter if it's like somebody who's successful, who's right. not successful, who's who hates life. <laughs> yeah, it's like this sort of vibe, the the, the enthusiasm, the yeah. I can I can summon that, but it's forced sometimes. The way you kind of naturally are able to project it, yeah. And I'm, I'm sure you don't always feel like that, but just mm. that ability. It, I mean, you just need attention. Like like people are going to pay you just to talk. Like yeah, yeah. no product, no promise, no just. I got shit. That just for that. <laughs> hey, what what do you got to sell? I got energy, man. What do you got to sell? You. <laughs> What do you got to say? I got a box of energy. I'm going to just, you know what I'm going to do? Get some empty water bottles and just put Stacy's energy and fucking, and I'm going to sell that in the back of the room, man. You know, I mean, I'd, I'd, um, I'd seriously consider, you know, just as an off topic, just doing like a, a short five, 10, like, like Grant's buttons, you know, it's like you create, look on the button and then it says <laughs> like 10X oh, yeah. it. And if, and if you got to 10X, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 I love it. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta get this energy out, man. Yeah. I, you know, at the end of the day, man, I wake up and, and a bunch of people didn't wake up. And that's where I, it comes from. I summon it in the morning. Because if I open my eyes, bro, I just reflect on how many people didn't. And I realize that if I'm not dead, that means that I'm not done. And I got nothing to complain about. I should always be high energy, man. So that's, that's, I pay, I pay with energy, Robbie. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. I love yeah, your, I yeah. love your people too, you. by the way. I love your, I love your people too.
I'm sure. I'm sure they're, they're very much like me. So uh, yeah, if you're like me, you'll, you definitely. Yeah, that's them. it. I love them. I love them to death now. <laughs> cool, cool, Stacey. So it was so great talking to you. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to stay in touch after that. Definitely. Um, I, I'm going to have to try to find a way to capture that attention, that enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I mean, wow, you're probably burning like, like an insane amount of calories just by being. Yo. Fantastic. No, I actually fell down the stairs the other day. I'm, I'm, my goal is to run a marathon within like the next year. So I've been training. I've been training and I fell, I fell down the stairs. So I got a limp with me and I did a split. It's the first time in my life I ever did a split. So I'm happy with that a full split. And, but I, I, I sprained my ligament. So I'm waiting. I can't wait for it to heal. So I could go back out there and freaking dust the track off, man. I'm freaking oh, so awesome. Yeah, man. So that's it. Big goals. I don't know if I'm going to run the damn marathon, but it's a goal. Oh, I'll, I'll, I can tell you a small story about that. If you want. Yes. Um, Please. So, so when I was younger, I'm currently writing a book, you know, about kind of my life and what happened. So my life is basically a series of many life or death commitments to getting rich and becoming successful. Yeah. And one day my worst commitment, I basically committed that if I'm not going to uh, become a millionaire by a certain date, I'll, I'll kill myself. It was like, yeah. a, it was not a good thing. <laughs> and, and, um, and um, it wasn't from a good place. But, but what happened, I mean, the, what, what I'm trying to say, I'm leading you to the marathon yeah. thing. Uh, this is not a good story. It's a negative story, but, the, but it's a good oh. implication about you for the marathon. Yeah. So it was, it was two days before the, the, the fucking day. You know? And I basically had a CEO of a major company who uh, was in good contact with me. And what I said was, okay, if I just close him on... Five hundred thousand dollars for like you know a couple of months of working with me, because that's how big you think when you don't have right. a choice. Right. You know, the closer the deadline gets, the bigger you have to think. To Hell yeah. Up. And um, yeah, you know, if we take away the suicide part, it was a really good thing. Right. Right. <laughs> if, right. You could, if you could commit like that without that negative energy. So, mm -hmm. so um, what happened was I, I said, okay, you have to commit because you're gonna have to stand in front of him and be like, hey CEO, and this guy makes. I don't know, like $5 million a month. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and I had to be like, hey, CEO, you're going to pay me $500,000 to a 22-year-old guy uh, to coach you. you know? Yeah. And, and, and not only that, but I had to persist because I knew he was going to say no, obviously. Right. But I said, if I persist enough, then he'll say yes. Just like if you read Think and Grow Rich. Right. Um, it's like the story of the little black girl in, in back in the uh, 1800s yep. and, and she, there was a slave owner and she said, uh, my mom needs a, needs a coin. You know, she needs a yep. nickel. Yep. He's like, go away. I'm going to kill you or something. Yeah. My mom needs a nickel. It's going right. gonna to kill you. Go away. My mom needs a nickel. And he yeah. just gave her a nickel. And, and he's yep. like, why did you do that? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> um, so so I, I, I was aiming for the same thing, what I call a uh, a coma death decision. Like I'm going to make it happen or I'm in a coma or dead. Right. Uh, um, so I said, okay, if I just make a decision that no matter what happens, I'm going to get that money, then it just has to happen. You know, it's either that right. or something really bad happens, but I'm not going to go away thinking there was something I could do. Right. So, so I said, okay, how do I commit to this? Again, mind you, Tomorrow I'm becoming a millionaire or in two days I'm dead. So, so it was that real to me. It was, it was that awesome. Real. Yeah. I, I, took, I went away from the villa. <laughs> to, it was in like the richest uh, district in Israel to the yeah. beach, which was like two minutes to the beach. Yeah. And basically I said, okay, I'm going to run uh, uh, all the way to Rishon. It's a city yeah. that's 40 kilometers away. I'm going to run all the way there. And again, mind you, I have a flat foot, you know, is that called yep, flat foot? Yep, 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 flat foot, yeah, yep. Yeah, where you walk for like more than an hour or two. If you don't have, you know, good support, yep. your feet will kill you. So, and, and mind you, I didn't run in like three years, not once. Wow. I didn't work out in that period and even got, a, you know, a bit of a belly because I was just so stressed all the time. Right. So, so like the biggest disadvantage. So I said, okay, I'm going to run 40 kilometers and then I'm going to run 40 kilometers back. Mm. <laughs> it was like seven 
p.m. I was like, I'm going to make it, you know, all there and back. And yeah. um, no, no training, no nothing, rig- right. nothing, nothing. Yeah. So, so I, um, I basically, if, and if I make it one, I said, okay, if I make it the way and back, it means I'm going to close them on a million, like not wow. just 500,000, but on a million. Yeah, yeah. Because I proved that I'm that committed. Because right. after you wrote that, it's like you fought a lion. It's like, right. yeah, I'm not going to be afraid of some social discomfort. Right. And, I love it. And I said, you know, even, even if I go in, in a wheelchair, like I'm not going to, you know, I might have to come in tomorrow in a wheelchair, literally, like rolling myself in. And that was what's literally what's, what's going on in my head. Right. That's right. Literally. <laughs> so I started running first 10, 15 kilometers. Because you aim so far, you probably noticed that the further you aim, like yeah, the you more you meditate, you know, if you do it 20 minutes, you aim for 20 minutes, 20 minutes is a lot. But if you yeah. aim for an hour, 20 minutes, it passes like that. Right. Um, um, so, but then you try to trick your brain and, and, and now it's on to you. So it only works if you really mean it. Yeah. So I started running first 20 kilometers just fine. Uh, but then in the middle, now the flat foot started coming in. Mm. And these were really mm. good shoes, but it only goes so far. Yeah, right. Uh, so, so I had to slow down literally to really fast walking because my feet hurt like hell. Right. And then around the 30 kilometer mark, my knees, you know, my knees began to hurt. And that means that, that, that it's like a level. So when, when the pain in the feet, feet is so strong that it, it can't be any stronger, it yeah. the knees and after the knees it's the hip yep so it got to the knees and then the last three kilometers that's three two kilometers i was walking like literally like, like that i was i was i wasn't even walking i was limping it's freaking every, awesome. every single step felt like like bam bam, bam. right it was like hitting me um i couldn't walk almost and and finally i got to the beach uh, to the in ratio, basically the forty kilometer mark. Yeah. Um, th- just going down the stairs. You know, it's like, you know how uh, maybe you like you like oh yeah I'm tired and then you have like the final, you know, minute or two and then yeah. you speed up. The, the adrenaline kicks in. I, so I couldn't speed up. I basically yeah. I slowed down because mm. I, was, I was dead. It wasn't like I had some energy within me. I basically Nothing. burnt out and was slowly dying. And, and so I reached it and I finished. It was 40 kilometers, which is almost a marathon. I think a marathon is like 45. Um, yeah, well, yep. 26.2 miles is what I know it as. Yep. Oh, so, so it's, uh, thir- so it's uh, 35. So actually I did more than a marathon. Oh, very nice, man. I did more. And uh, I didn't do the way back, you know, needless to yeah. say. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I sat there and I, you know, it, there's no rush after it. There's no orgasm being feeling. It's just like, oh my god! <laughs> and and basically for the next two days, I was walking with crutches. Yeah, I, I had to decide between a wheelchair and crutches, and I thought, okay, it's not. It. I mean, it would be disingenuous if I would use cr- uh, wheelchair. Yeah, I could almost walk, so I, yeah. I just supported with my hands. It was fine. Right. And for the next two weeks, uh, on my on my foot, I had like this big lump. Oh my God, bro. All around the foot. And Killer. Yeah, so, and, yeah, so that, I mean, regarding what you're saying about the, basically what I'm trying to, to tell you, to inspire you. got the you, money? Did you get the money? Did you no, get the money, man? No, no, it, it was pretty bad. I basically, I basically came there. I, it's, it's a pretty sad story, but I basically came there. I, I couldn't even go up to his office Yeah. because I was so nervous because it was literally life or death and it wasn't up to me i didn't feel anymore like it was up to me right because it's not like you almost have a deal it's somebody who's you know he barely just talked to you a couple of times right 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 and 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 i just drove to to a graveyard basically and sat there for like a couple of hours i thought okay any moment i'm probably gonna die yeah uh but but yeah it took it took a few months to recover uh emotionally and and again i'm happy it happened i'm I'm much because of it on my purpose more and uh, and again i have life experience at this point of like a 70 year old guy just from the ups and downs i went through and obviously i'm never afraid it's going to happen again because i've been at the worst and i've survived right uh you know how jk rowling says she says the the rock bottom was the foundation she built her success on right and now she's yeah, a billionaire. Ha- ha- harry and, Potter. 
No, I I love that. I love, because, you know, I'm so hard on myself. And because I don't want, if anyone's going to be hard on me, I need it to be myself, right? So I'm full of discipline. I love discipline. Discipline is my thing. I'm not eating, I'm not eating meat November. So I always give myself something for a month, right? And we all know that it's Thanksgiving month here in the States and everything is about the turkey. Mm-hmm. And I'm, why, why, did I, why did I put it this month, right? Why did I say a marathon? Why didn't I say a 5K? You know, why did I say that I want to take this thing exploded? Why a million people? Why not 1,000? You know, why am I doing this? And it's because I always want to stretch myself and pull myself because we're great. I mean, look at you. You freaking ran more than a marathon. <laughs> you wait and you and you actually ended it there like you you did it man mm-hmm. you know and a lot of people will be like what the hell are we doing and just turn around and walk home walk the other way while you still had a leg left but not you man you kept it going because you promised yourself and what i love is that and i'm glad you didn't keep up the other end of the promise so <laughs> you. you know but i love that it took that you you put yourself in that situation and you went for it. That's what I think that we're lacking. And that's what the comfort killers is all about. Because if you're comfortable, man, I got something for that ass. Yeah, but I love, yeah. I love you. I love the stories, man. It's, it's inspiring. I'm actually, I'm actually ready to do something crazy now. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm, I'm not going to, like, I don't, I don't like putting people in this situation. So I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm just going to give you, a, like, a, a hint or, like, a Give me a hint. Pleasure. Yeah, give me a hint. Go ahead. It's, it's not. Uh, yeah. Cross again. Show, show it more. It's show it more. Oh, because I'm. Uh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm just putting it up there. It's something to do. You know, I got ADD. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's 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 perfect. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're the symbol of anti-ADD. <laughs> so so what so um. It, the reason I managed to run it, and again, I'm not a, I'm not a running guy. I have to say, yeah. I'm, I'm not about, I'm not about running. I hate running. I'm not good at it. At least yeah. that's what I believe. I never ran more than like two miles in my life. Right. Right. Um, and uh, I never thought I could. Basically, I put, I was in a very special situation. It was like a cheat code because it's as if somebody tells you, like, hey, Stacy, um, you're either going to run this marathon or yeah. you're going to die. So. Yeah. So it was pretty easy for me to make it because th- that implicated that if I won't be able to run the marathon, I won't be able to close the deal, which yep. means, um, I'll die. Yep. So, so um, basically something like that, like a marathon, it's basically a question of, um, because Will Smith also said it. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're inspired by him like, like hell, like I am. Yeah. Uh, when he said, uh, I'll, I'll run on a treadmill, I'll beat you. I'll always beat anyone on a treadmill because I'll either run more or I'll die. Yeah. So I just have to re- to win. So Two options. exactly. So yep. what you're doing, the way I want you to look at running this marathon, is not like you're um, getting prepared so that hopefully you'll be able to do it. It's basically the what you the pain you're putting in now is basically so that you you have to pay less later. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> it. If you if you don't do it today, it's gonna it's like a bill. It's like. Bam! Yeah, and yeah, you'll go home like, like you said, like, like limping in a wheelchair or something. Uh, yeah. but, but the more you practice now, uh, the more because you're competing with. It's not a competition where you have to practice ahead of time. You know, in a real competition, the guy who trained before the competition wins, not the guy who decided on the same day, like, oh, I'm going to win because practice right. beats everything. Yeah. But if you're competing with yourself, then then there's really no limit. So yeah, that's an idea I've been toying around with since yes. that day. Like, hey, if you like decide something has to happen and you genuinely decide it's a life or death commitment, you know, how far does it go? Like, yeah. you know? it goes. I mean, it goes forever. That's 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 basically the concept that I built this company off. Like, there was no the the other option was that pretty much figuratively I die right because there's no other option. So I put myself up. I put myself, listen, I don't compete. I'm not here to compete. Just like Grant said, and it struck with me because I don't care what anyone says. I really am not here to compete. I'm here to dominate. But I'm always in competition with myself. And you cannot compete with someone who's always in competition with themselves. 
you know? So that's, that's just how I flow. And as far as this marathon, man, I've been training, I've been training already. I got, I got, I got far places already. The idea is I don't want to fucking run this thing. That's it. I don't want to run it, but you know what? Life or fucking death. That's why I love you so much, Rob. I I will run this marathon and probably run past the goddamn marathon up the street. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The, the funny thing is that if you aim a bit more, Yep. We'll actually make the marathon itself easier. And then you can give up after. Like you can aim like to do a marathon plus like uh, five miles. Right. And then, and literally like once you get past the marathon, you're like, oh, yep. I'm kidding. I'm done. Yep. And yep. we'll actually pass faster. Yep. I love that. <laughs> Again, I love that. You can trick your brain. If you can actually like backwards trick your brain, because it's, it's a skill you can learn to like trick your brain to aim further, even if you don't really mean it. Right. So it makes, the, it makes it easier. <laughs> right. No, I love it because I, I did that all summer long. I did a lot of detoxing and it was hot as hell outside and everything hurt. And I just wanted a bowl of pasta and I tricked myself. Like I totally tricked myself. As soon as I got up, I swear to God, I got the video online. Actually, it's called I Am Stacy Cross on YouTube. And you could see where I'm like tricking myself. And I say it. I'm like, I feel great. And I'm lying to myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, so at the end of the day, that's what I'm about. I'm about tricking the mind, biohacking, and doing everything necessary to succeed, man. So I, I love it. Awesome. Oh, that's what biohacking is? Biohacking is, is a lot. Of, well, biohacking more so, like, if your blood type is O positive, you know, you try to eat the foods and the nutrients and things that work well with your blood and body type, right? Mm -hmm. So you're not working against your body. This right here is... Uh, this is right here is alkaline water, ionized, the pH balance is high, it's not acidic. So, you know, I'm doing things on a daily basis and then, and then measure the results, okay? Because at the end of the day, if there's no measurement, right? If there's no graph on this thing, I don't know what the hell, what the hell I did. So if I drink this for a month straight, and then I had a result. I plot that in the graph of life and then try again with something else to see if this was the reason. Man, this is all about life, man. We just, I, I just changed, I just changed, the, I changed the routine. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and the funny thing is that the, the, you, you measure when it's good and you don't measure when it's bad or stagnating. Like that's the yeah. thing needed the most. Yeah, that's it. You just show That's somebody true. like, hey, look, your life is the same here and it's the same here and it's the same here and it's the same here. And he's like, oh, right. I need to change. <laughs> yeah, well, and, and you know, with the graph of life, you know, I always say if you're going up in a positive trend on the graph of life it, and when you magnify that up upward trend, you always see that it's really like this. It's really going down and never really just skyrockets up. And of course, the downtrend, you notice that it goes down like this in numbers like the stock market. But then that, there's that line, right? The flat line, you're fucking dead, okay? That, that's the line that's scary as hell to me, mm -hmm. right? I don't, that's the comfortable line. Even when you're negatively trending down, you're at least doing something. You're failing, you're learning, more wisdom is applied, and you could change that in any direction you want. But if you're just like this, nine to five, every day, go home, go to sleep, watch The Walking Dead, turn off the TV, watch NFL, go to a shitty barbecue, don't do nothing, boom, same thing, weekend, go out, spend money, it's your fucking dead, man. Oh, I mean, I've, I've, uh, you told me you do the courses thing. I completely agree. You do yeah. courses right now. Yeah. Uh, I've recently done a course uh, on statistics. I think it's called Conditions of yeah. Action. Um, basically, what they say there is that um, there's no difference between, there's basically formulas for how to, like, like formulas for dealing with different, um, you know, if it's going up, a bit up, a lot up, yeah. down. There's no, so they have just one formula. Yeah. It's called danger for a uh, straight line and for, for slide down. So yeah. they, they don't even say that there's a difference. So they say if it's going straight or slightly yeah. down, yeah. in both cases, it's the same problem and you need to fix it the same. Yeah. No, no, no. I, I, I agree with it. But here's the thing. When, when you have that straight line, right, I think that you actually have to go down first. Like something has to happen first for you to recognize and, and get the wisdom. Like there's a lot of people yeah. in the middle class that's working on this straight line. 
Like, for yeah. instance, there's a lot of people in my family that's just, they're just cool with this fucking line right here. Oh, but, well, uh, yeah. But I, was, I, was on, I was on this line going down, but I was still risking shit, right? It was in a bad yeah. way. I was still addicted to gambling. I was still spending my time buying fucking juice and, and, and alcohol and going out. <laughs> but at the yeah. end of the day, I learned something. I learned that I didn't feel good. Right? Yeah, yeah, but but let me let, tell me how your family felt about the straight line in the 2008 mortgage crisis. Oh, they they they're still feeling it about that straight line. It's not you it's know? not so straight. It's like I mean it's straight, but it, it got down. <laughs> it yeah, went yeah, down. It's, it's still declining, and I mean, hey, listen, they weren't prepared, right? And yeah. neither neither was I, you know, at that time. So even well, if I yeah, give, even if I give them knowledge, right? Even if I say, hey, listen. This, this is what you probably need to do. Get some, get some knowledge, go around different types of people and get rid of the goddamn house and, and do what you have to do and go out for your dreams. And I don't know what dreams my family has. They don't, listen, they, they only want the American dream, right? They only want to retire at 65. They want to work all their life and they want to go to a baby shower at the end of the weekend. Yeah. You know? so they didn't, of course they didn't like it, but they don't understand it, you know? I mean, I mean, with, with, with my family, there's the same. They have, you know, the, like you said, the Israeli dream. <laughs> uh, you know, just having, basically I asked my mom, like, what's my dream? And she says to, to stop having uh, worries. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah. And um, no, but I, 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 I think that um, I use that. So I don't try to tell my family, like, hey, you should have, you know, bigger dreams and stuff. What I say is I'm going to achieve my dream. Yep become super successful financially, have yeah. them never worry about money again. And by the way, it doesn't even, I don't even need to get to the finish line. I just need right. to make 10% towards it for them to be basically, basically I need to give them like maybe a million dollars, maybe, yeah. maybe a million point five yeah. for them to feel, you know, maybe 3 million. Okay. If we go really far, mm -hmm. for them to feel secure the, their whole life. And I mean, yeah. you know, much more than that. And I, I just say, okay, Robbie, don't tell them anything. Let them be. Just make sure they don't die for any reason. Mm -hmm. As long as, as, long as they're alive, you know, and as long as you do it fast enough so yeah. that they don't die. Because I'm also aware that people die sometimes just from heart yeah. attack. Uh, you know, so I'm like, okay, there's also a bit of time pressure sure. on it. Yeah. Uh, as long as they're alive and you got, you know, you, and enough money to give them maybe That's in it. one go, maybe a bit of, you know, a couple of, you know, 50,000, 20,000 a month just to give them, then now they won't have that anxiety, that pressure anymore. That's and it. maybe then they'll think about their dreams. Yeah. So you well, you he, created an upline for them. Right. No, no, no. And I love that. And I get it. So when I said that I don't even know what their dreams are, they, of course, they, they're not thinking about it. And it's a traditional cycle, right? We're Jamaican. We, uh, my grandparents came here for the American dream. The, my, my mom has the American dream still stitched, even though it's an illusion, right? So yeah, my goal is to break the cycle in tradition, to break yes. the cycle in conventional wisdom, and then do for them what they couldn't do for themselves and never throw it back in their face. I'm only here to succeed, man. I want to be great. Awesome. Yeah, what they couldn't do for their parents, by the way. And, and that's it. And you just break the cycle. Now, by breaking the cycle, everyone else coming up in the generations will have a new mindset from thereafter. Awesome. And it's still, yeah. it's still up to them. You know what I mean? Maybe, maybe it's my age, but I don't really care what happens like beneath me. I care like the people that raised me. Yeah. I can repay them. Yeah. Uh, like I'm just imagining, you know, buying my mom like the most beautiful house or or even just giving her that million dollar check. And I'm how like, would she, how would she feel, work. man? That shit would be so beautiful, man. I just got off the phone with my mom today, man. If I, I, and my thing is, I just want to, like, I, would, I, can, I can't keep surprises. Like, I can't keep yeah. them, you know? I so if, you. I, if I call her, if I'm like, yo, listen, ma, I just got you this thing here, this million, million dollar check. And I mail it to her. I will call her before the, the thing lands in her box and be yeah. like, Mom, uh, Yeah, I, I, I'll just talk to other people about it. Like, oh, I gave her, I gave her. Like, <laughs> I just need to calm it down a bit. Yeah, so man, yeah. Let, me, let, me, let me get up out of here. I had so much fun with you. I awesome. think you're amazing, man. Um, of course, your wisdom is way past your years. So I'm not even going to talk about your age because it doesn't matter. You've been here before. You know, you have been here multiple times before. So... 
So I'm glad that you're sitting right here in front of me now and we've connected because I think that we're going to, we're going to grow this relationship and, uh, you have, um, you know, inspired me, Rob. You too. Yeah. That's mutual. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. So, so yeah, for anybody who's cr still watching, uh, because uh, people usually drop off at the half hour mark. So, so wait a second, this is live? No. Oh, okay. But for them, it's live. Ah, anytime ah. you watch is live, baby. <laughs> so, so for anybody who's still watching, probably the 30, 40% that are still watching. Yes, beautiful shirt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. Definitely follow Stacy. I mean, yep. even if you, I mean, you know, put, put aside the, what she says, the content, the everything, yeah, just, the, just the way she makes me feel yeah. personally. Um, you know, I need that. I need that. Somebody who's not, doesn't necessarily always make sense. Just, just talks and it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And because I focus on like, you know, every word has to have a content meaning behind it. And yeah, yeah. And, and Stacy says every word has to have an energy, energy behind it. Yeah. yeah like, like I don't care. Like, yeah. 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 And, and it's funny. Yeah. Because, because it's all about self-discovery. And I think that just that kind of energy when you experience it, you can, you, you get tapped into like who you are when you feel like that, you know, now how, who you are when you feel like that and you can right. start growing that. So actually by listening to you, people can find out who they are at their best and, and be themselves. Yeah. How do I think when I listen to her, how do I feel when I listen to her? Yeah. What are my beliefs? Like what do I, what do I care? Do I care about that thing that's bothering me anymore? Yeah. Uh, where is my yeah. focus at? Yeah. That way they can get to know themselves in, in your, in that state of mind that you create for them, help them create or help them mm -hmm. find in themselves. So it's a mat, it's a huge gift. I haven't, I, I only know one guy who has that ability mm. and he's so unfocused. He's made like two videos. <laughs> so, so you're the only one left. Oh man. The so last you have question. a big job. You have a big job. Yeah, man. I'll get it. I'll get it done. Don't worry. I got three videos pumping out probably by tomorrow. So sweet, sweet. We got them in. Awesome. Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, no, thank you so much again. Remember, I am a comfort killer and I am Stacy A. Cross and there is no E. There's no E in my name. And it has been a pleasure. The comfort killers.com.